Good day everyone, this is Grace again. So today I'm going to share with you how you are going to record your screen and your slide presentation using the Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, yeah, PowerPoint. So be sure that you have a Microsoft Office 2019 or Microsoft PowerPoint 2019 so that you can have this kind of features, okay? So this is very useful actually, especially today because we are going to conduct the online class. So this is very useful to all teachers and students. Okay, so what we are going to do here is I'm going to show you how to record the screen first and then how you are going to record your slide, uh, slide presentation or what we call it slide narration. Okay, so let's start. Let's open the PowerPoint. All right, so here we have a lot of tabs here. So just click insert, okay, insert tab, and then screen recording. You can see the screen recording here, just click it. And then you will roll in this kind of page. So you can see the select area. If you want to select the area, kung saan lang yung gusto mong i um, record, just click it. And then for me, I want to record my whole screen. So I want to select the whole screen of my computer. And then you can now start recording. Okay. By the way, your audio is on. And then you can also record the mouse, the pointer, the mouse pointer. Okay. So let's start recording. All right. So I want to open a... Let's say, for example, I want to show to my students um, a picture, okay, a picture of, let's say, Mother Earth, okay, all right, so I want to show a lot of pictures here, and also you can show a, a video to your students. It's pretty easy. And of course, if you want to open a specific file, let's say I want to open a word, and then, yeah, you can manipulate a lot of things that you can show to your students here using this kind of uh, feature screen recording. And then you can also show your um, PDF file. Let's say, for example, this is my video file of my random numbers, whatever it is. Okay. We have some lectures and so on and so forth. Okay, so that's it for the screen recording. It's pretty easy. Okay, so if you want to stop the recording, just hover over your mouse here and then click this stop window. So click it. Okay, you will rot in this kind of page. So, automatic siyang mapunta dun sa PowerPoint presentation. Okay, if you want to hear your voice, if you want to play, you can play it. Alright, so I want to open a... Let's say, for example, I want to show to my students um, a picture, okay? A picture of... Let's say Mother Earth. Okay. All right. So I want to show a lot of pictures here. And also you can show a, a video to your students. Okay. That's pretty easy. And of course, if you want to open a specific file, let's say I want to open a word and then... Yeah, you can manipulate a lot of things that you can show to your students here using this kind of uh, feature screen recording. And then you can also show your um, PDF file. Let's say, for example, this is my PDF file of my random numbers, whatever it is. All right, so that's it for the screen recording. It's pretty easy how to manipulate this kind of feature. So 
Uh, next is all right so next I'm going to show you how you are going to record your slide presentation or we call it slide narration using the Microsoft PowerPoint okay so in my case here I already have a PowerPoint presentation okay so in this line we have a lot of tabs just click the slideshow then slideshow record slideshow here then record from the current slide or record from the beginning so I want to choose this record from the beginning okay all right so you will write in this page and you can see yourself here okay oh you can uh, if you're ready to record yourself or you to record your presentation you can click the record and you can also replay and stop okay from here we have a laser, we have the eraser, we have the pen, and the highlighter. So let's start recording. All right, so I want to use the laser pointer with the red color. Okay. All right. Okay, class, good morning. Today, we are going to discuss the data warehouse architecture. Next is, what is data warehouse? So this was first coined by Bill Inman in 1990. A data warehouse is constructed by integrating and so on and so forth. So that's pretty easy. By the way, we also have the notes if you want to show the notes here. And then you can also manipulate this kind of settings in this part. Okay, so it's up to you. This is pretty easy. It's easy to use and manipulate this kind of features. Mm, okay, so after recording, you can uh, close. And then you can see yourself here. So let's, uh, if you want to play, I want to... This one, okay. All right, so I want to use the laser pointer with the red color. Okay. All right. Okay, class, good morning. Today, we are going to discuss the data warehouse architecture. Okay. Next. Okay. This is the next slide. What is data warehouse? So this was first coined by Bill Inman in 1990. A data warehouse is constructed by integrating and so on and so forth. So that's pretty easy. By the way, so that's it. So if you are going to um, see your file or um, if you want to save like, uh, you know, not PDF of course, the MP4, just click the file here and then export. Okay, click the export and create a video. Okay, create the video and then you can select whatever um whatever settings or the, the quality of your video. So I want to use this uh, 1080 pixels, whatever. And then create a video. Data warehouse, okay. Choose Gonsan you gusto is save. Okay, I want to save on my desktop. And then so from here it's still the video is still creating, so choose to wait. I think it takes so it depends kung gaano katagal or kung gaano kahaba yung video. So it takes a lot of Time. That's so much a lot of time. It takes like uh, five minutes to ten minutes, so it depends kung gaano kahaba yung video. Okay, so nandito na siya actually sa aking desktop. Alright, so that's it. It's pretty easy. And again, this is Grace. I explore, learn, teach, enjoy then share. So have a great day. Thank you.